absolutely, absolutely. No, and that, and I, I guess this is a great segue to uh, the next question as it relates to the roadblocks or maybe the biggest hurdles. I know you were saying that, hey, you know, those cycles kind of run deep in terms of money in, money out. Uh, w what are some maybe other, you know, big roadblocks that you have encountered during this process or this journey as an uh, inventor, as a business owner, or would you say just kind of those cycles of, you know, having a, maybe not having as much money, uh, uh, or as liquid, uh, do you think that maybe is the, kind of the biggest challenge or hurdle that you have faced uh, up until this point in Probably time? Probably access to working capital. Yeah. You know, as a small business owner, it is extremely tough for us to get a working capital loan. And there's a lot of reasons for that, but you know, our tax returns for many years tend to not to show much income. Gotcha. Because we're putting every dollar back into the business yep. and the lending institutions tend to look at that and we become a high risk borrower and they just say no. That's probably the hardest thing over the years for us is those periods where we're out of money, we need working capital and all the banks just can't keep saying no, 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 no. Um, second to that is probably the, the round of, of raw material price increases over the last two, three years. You know, COVID messed up things for a lot of people in a lot of different ways. And our sales, strangely enough, were the highest they've ever been during COVID. Really? If you think about it, everybody's at home, bored, on their computer, and, uh, you know, surfing Amazon, what do I need? Well, there's Instatrim, and I'm going to get that because I can do that in my house by myself. Yep. That yep. it's an easy fix. And, yep. you know, another interesting fact about our business is that about 68% of our buyers are the female consumer. And I think there's a lot of, I don't want to say men, but uh, younger generation males that didn't grow up with that skill set from their father teaching them how to fix stuff, how to build stuff. You know, they were on, they were playing video games. Um, <laughs> so I think the female consumer is stepping in more and more to do some of these things and i love nothing more than the 65 year old buyer of instatrim a woman who calls me up and she is so excited as she did this project and it looks perfect and she's really really proud of herself i love those calls it's pretty cool and, and that and that's very true and that's actually another big advantage of your product uh I, I, I would probably say that if, you know, the, the, the woman or for me personally, I, I'm a person who kind of does things that I'm good at. Uh, what yeah. is my skill set? I don't I don't want to kind of dink around and take the time or do things that I'm not good at because it I, I can kind of make more money just focus on the things that I am good at as opposed to kind of messing up some things and then having to kind of double back and hire someone or pay someone or spend more time trying to fix it anyway. So right. uh, I, I'll be one of those users as uh for Insta trend because the, and I would imagine that it seems like most women and even maybe some, some younger males are where the chances that they're going to try to cork something is very low compared to, okay, Insta trim is something that I can do by myself. It's pretty straightforward. No mess, no headache. Just read the directions. Although it seems like some people may not follow directions as well as you would like. Uh, but that's something that they can attempt on their own with low risk compared to something like corking. So I think that's another big advantage of Instatrim, which uh, helps out with uh, people who typically wouldn't try these different tasks if it was a little bit more involved or a little bit more complicated, which goes to your point of keep it simple. 